In this series, we are touring the UK and Ireland looking for the energy solutions of the future. Is there a sustainable energy solution to our energy needs? We meet with some prominent individuals and companies spearheading development of sustainable energy and we ask them, how will the world make the transition? And when will it happen? And are we there yet? Today, I have the pleasure of chatting to John Poley, the Manufacturing Operations Director here at the UK Battery Industrialization Centre. Welcome to Future Models, John. Good morning, Danielle. Would you be able to tell us a bit about the Faraday Battery Challenge and how the UK BIC sits within that? I'd be, I'd be delighted to. Um, Faraday Battery Challenge is a really unique prospect for the, for the United Kingdom. Um, born out of our, our desire to transform to a new EV future, we recognised, or the, the government recognised, that there had to be an assistance put in place. So not just an assistance for a small element, but we've created an ecosystem of which the Faraday Battery Challenge is, is, is the, the major part of it. So founded in about 2017, and we've currently spent about £540 million to, to generate that ecosystem, of which we are part here at UK Big. And the idea is that you sponsor collaboration between universities, where we capture the innovation in our great universities. UK BIC then helps to transform that into product that can be sold to manufacturers. And also the last part of the ecosystem are, is the, the Automotive Transformation Fund and APC. So collectively together, we're here to exist to, to generate a, a solid transition for the battery industry. Would you be able to explain a bit more about what UK BIC does? We support a range of customers from very small startups to large OEMs, what we do is pretty different. But in essence, we take their product and we help them to manufacture it through the use of our flexible facility. So you can start right at the beginning, or you can start in the middle, or you can start near the end. But we bring in the customer's materials, we use our processes and our facilities, and importantly, our people. And we work with the customer to develop their product. The idea is we help them along that journey to uh, industrialization, and the clue's always in the name. You know, UK big, for me, the clue is the eye. We help our customers industrialize our products. How do you collaborate with partners in the ecosystem? Collaboration in the time that we are in and the industry we're in is really, really important. So collaboration with universities, which is part of the Faraday Battery Challenge, is really important. Collaboration with important vendors is important. And obviously collaboration with our customer. The important thing for me is that we're all learning off of each other. Uh, and that will help us get, help us to transform the industry far more quickly than all operating in our own little silos. So yeah, the collaboration is really important for us. As we develop sustainable energy and the battery industry, what would you say the biggest challenges are? So the challenge for me is there's a very pressing need. Um, in the United Kingdom, the Faraday Battery Challenge estimates we probably need about 10 gigafactories by 2040. Uh, and we started on that journey. We were, we've already, there's been announcements for two. Um, so we still need to, to satisfy the need for a further eight. And that's to support the vehicles, it's to support energy storage for our energy security. And it's also to support other industries, aviation, uh, off-road, and, and, and those areas where the UK is very strong. So the, the opportunity is great. Uh, the challenge is grasping the opportunity and making it happen. Yeah, and speaking of opportunities, what do you think the biggest opportunity is? Uh, the biggest opportunity, again, is we, we, we don't need to create a market. The market exists, or it will exist. Um, so we are chasing that, that, that need. Um, and if we can satisfy that need, it's, it's a win for all of us. It helps us to develop the skills uh, of the people we already have in industry. So, for example, automotive has to transform. The skills will have to change. And at UK Bec, we play a big part in that role um, by helping with classroom training. But the really useful thing is once you've done the classroom training, you can go outside in the facility and you can see it actually happening. So that transformation of skill base is really useful, but also the creation of new skills for the future. So areas where we can help develop um, commodities and processes and products that don't currently exist today. So really the opportunity is great for us. Um, we, need to, we need to just grab that with both hands and make it happen. If there was one key message for us to take away, what would that be? So I think my one key message would be, let's grab the opportunity. Uh, we, have, we have a need to do this. So there's no need, we don't have to create it. The need already exists. We have some really clever people in the UK. Our ability to innovate is tremendous. 
and our universities are at the forefront of that innovation. UK BIC is here to enable the transition of products into future successful outcomes. So I think the key message for us is you know, collectively, collaboratively, let's grab that opportunity and let's make this a, an industry that the UK can be proud of and actually benefits us all for the future. Thank you so much, John, for talking to me today. It's really exciting times for the battery industry and UK BIC. And thank you. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, Daniel.